Oh, it's Delusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. All right, 7 o'clock in the morning at the job site. First one here because that's how I roll. But I figured I'd give you a look around. It's pretty nice. I like the exposed beams. Apparently, this is the old uh, real estate like headquarters when they were uh, selling the whole valley here. So doing the concrete floor with the glossy finish. Nice touch. I like it, lots of windows. But yeah, you know, it's funny, man. I was reading uh, someone's comments like, dude, you sold out going back to like swinging a hammer. And I'm like, well, you know, part of life is all about doing what's right in front of you. And you can't be selling out if you're the one making the choices. See, most people don't have a choice with what they do because they aren't doing what they really want to do. So, what is it? I spent the last three months at home doing my art, doing my thing. How to admit, I'm kind of a dude who likes to like work, you know? I enjoy carpentry. So yeah, not bummed to be here, that's for sure. Let me tell you, dude, when the, uh, the west swells start coming down the coastline and the surf picks up, that'll be a whole different story. I'm trying to figure out how to get into the garage because that's where all the tools are. But um, no, no, right now it's just something to come do. And like I was saying, my bro called me because they got to get this place finished, man. And there's only the, uh, the two dudes here. We got a lot of door jams to, to do. And, and base and case, man. Dude, it's butter work. Like if you know carpentry, man, I'm on the uh, fluffy side of the job here. There's no crawling under buildings, no crawling around up in attics. No dealing with drywall and, and, and fiberglass insulation, man. It's just fully just take my time measuring cuts and <laughs> it ain't selling out, bro. You wish you had a job this easy, man, making this kind of money. Yeah, it's one of those, man. It's pretty fluffy. Plus, I'm 20 minutes from my house. It's just, it's pretty dream scenario, man. But that's what it is. It's all about letting go. So, you know, because I'm in the, uh, the driver's seat of my life with contact with Source Energy, who is the uh, pilot. I guess I'm the co-pilot of the whole thing. But anyway, man, you know, I don't have to, like, be a slave to, like, dollars and nonsense, man. I can actually just sit back and, like, allow enjoyable work to come my way and not be like frantic and bummed out like this is this is the perfect activity for a Tuesday with no surf and a foggy coastline in Malibu is to come over and like bang on some wood man I don't even have to bang let's let's tap it into place tappy tap 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 anyway I gotta figure out how to get into this place yeah! So here I am, <clears throat> hooking up door jams. The only guy here today. I love my freedom. Anyway, yeah, to get back on uh, what I was saying before. It's, it's never selling out if you can pull the plug. And that's what these dudes know who I work for. They know if I don't like what's going on, I'm just going home. And they know if the swell comes up, I'm not showing. That's a pretty cool team of people to be working for. And then, you know, that's half the deal. I like these guys. These are, uh, these are cool guys to be out uh, working for, man. They don't hassle me. They let me do my thing. They just let me work. No one here bugging me, micromanaging me. Everyone just letting, letting me do my deal. 
And that's how I work the best, man. And you know, the, the, the truth of the matter is, I did carpentry. Most people don't have the knack for uh, working with wood, working for stuff, and especially finished carpentry. It, it takes a lot of patience. Like, I have to get all these, I have to get everything plumb and level, and like, it can't be cattywampus. So, you know, you'll start, you'll start here in one corner, and you got to pick a corner and kind of work it. And, you know, when you get too crazy in one direction, stuff will start to uh, twist, and you got to get your level out. And you got to, you know, got to tap things and kind of go backwards every now and then. And I don't know. It's a pretty groovy thing when you get into the, like, the science of carpentry, right? Like, hey, that's, that's what life's all about, man. You know, I was reading uh, another guy's comment. He says, uh, it's never work if you're enjoying what you're doing. And, and the fact of the matter is, is I fully did carpentry on low doses, of course. Like, I'm good for two months, three months solid. I could, I could show up here every day, 40, 50 hours a week for two or three months, no problem. After that, man, I start going loopy. And, and like I said, these guys are super cool. So they know if the surf comes up, man, I'm taking a couple days. And, you know, I can show up later in the afternoon, whatever. Like, I don't know. That's half the, that's, all right, lesson in life, young people. You show up, be on time, be a hard worker. You gain freedom. I, it doesn't seem like that sometimes, like work. Like work sucks, like work sucks, like work sucks. Work sucks if you make it suck. If you show up at work with a positive mental attitude, whatever it is, and you get into it, you just put the blinders on and you do your thing, it disappears. Life's all about overcoming obstacles. And one of the main obstacles we have in life is, is doing things we're not exactly excited about and we end up calling them work. Today, man, I'm just playing with, with tools, making money. It ain't work to me. I don't even know what I'd be doing today if I wasn't doing this. I'd probably still be asleep. <laughs> Who knows, man? Anyway, you know, my advice is just, you know, find, it, find something you dig that it can be your fallback position. No matter what, I can go anywhere on Spaceship Earth, pick up a skill saw, hammer, and a nail gun, and I'm employable. You know, I, I don't need to do car. I'm not going to be a carpenter for the rest of my life. I have all sorts of other pursuits. But the fact of the matter is that I'll never have to be broken this lifetime because I know how to use tools. And that's probably the most important thing a monkey can learn to do is use tools. Because if you don't know how to use tools, you're not even a monkey. Anyway, it's the illusion. I got to get back to work.